But given like what we thought the NL Central would look like, the Cardinals, right? Everybody's, oh, the Cardinals are going to win. The Cubs are a lot better. There's the Brewers. Nobody is giving the Pirates any kind of due. Um, so I think it's right up there, if not the best story going right now. Andrew McCutcheon back in the uniform. And, and they're out there. They're going to be, if they keep this up today, they'll be 12 and 7 and surprising everybody. So it's just great. It's great for the city of Pittsburgh. They need a winning team. Um, great ballpark, beautiful to look at, all those kind of things. I know my guy Ryan Stasek, he's at home in Charleston right now, diehard Buckos fan, and he's loving it, every bit of it right now. Will it last? I don't know, but you got some leaders there. You got Andrew McCutcheon leading that way, that veteran presence. Rich Hill, Dick Mountain on the show yesterday. So good things are <laughs> happening. In the steel curtain. We did have Dick Mountain on yesterday. I, I got a question for you, though. So I haven't really gotten to spend a whole lot of time around Andrew McCutcheon. What is it about him that people just gravitate toward him? Well, I mean, a hey, personality, right? So he, he's great personality. He's great at making connections with teammates, with people. He's got the uh, alter ego. You know, he's got that uh, uncle, uh, I can't, uncle Larry or whatever his name is that he that he goes with. It's, um, yeah, it's Uncle Larry. Makes, yeah, he makes sure that guys are having fun. It's 162 games, okay? Not to mention spring training. It is a long season. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And he is he is really leads the charge in making sure that guys understand that. If you have a tough game, I'm here to pick you up. If you're continuing to do well, I'm going to make sure I keep you even keel that you don't get too big. And, and then on top of all of that, He's performing like this guy's an MVP, yeah. a former MVP, you know, and he's just a leader. And, you know, the experience that he has, uh, his connection to that city, that's where he lives in full time. So I just think he's just one of those guys that whoever got him this winter was going to be great. And the fact that he's back in Pittsburgh where he started out, you know, it's just kind of something magical. Who knows what they got brewing there? You know, some sort of immaculate reception or something.